This program is brought to you by Emory University. Oh my gosh, that. Uh, yeah, be careful putting your hand in the water. No, you might lose a finger. No, it's more like uh, you know Captain Hook sort of thing. That's so cute. <laughs> These islands are gorgeous places. They have beautiful beaches, and St. Catharines is one of the most incredible I've seen anywhere in the world. And they're known worldwide, and I want the students to be aware of what an incredible resource they have for learning about barrier islands that's more or less in our backyard. There's no need to go anywhere else in the world to learn about barrier islands. That's what they look like inside? Yep. Yeah, so you see the, uh, see the operculum right there? See a little bit of the foot. And it's moving. Uh-huh. And let's see if this one has been attacked by a crab any time during its life. So let's move it around a little bit. And see that scar right there? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Wow. That was attacked by a crab. Cool. It's got a little bit of a scar right there. Barrier islands are almost like the canaries in the coal mine in terms of environments. So I really want students to learn about how these environments are very much uh, temporary or always changing in some way. Even just understanding one species, you have to understand their habitat and uh, even, you know, even here there are, what, five different habitats just in this little expanse of land and there are a lot of different things going on and they're all interconnected so it's the more you learn, the more you realize how much you don't know. Oh, it's a mole crab! Ew. You found a mole crab? Yeah. Pick him up. Oh, yeah. Go, 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 bro, 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 bro. Yes! Oh. It is incredibly easy to teach out of the classroom environment, especially coming to these islands where uh, the island is our textbook. We just go out in the field and there are new examples every day. Uh, the way I like to think of it, every time I go to one of the Georgia Barrier Islands, it's like I know I'm going to see a new edition of the textbook. There's going to be something different, something incredible that I haven't seen before. You are so cute. My stepsister would be going crazy right now. I'm going crazy right now. Please don't touch me. You can go crazy right now. You're alive. Oh, they're cool. They're a little fuzzy. Yeah, but... <laughs> yes, they're oh called animals. Oh my gosh! They're like raccoons. The guy that wants to... I do love the fact that when the students come here with me for these field trips, they get a little bit of an escape and it's an escape from the deadlines they might have on campus. Might be an escape, however temporarily, from email, phone calls, and all of the electronica they have in their life, all of those distractions. Sometimes these barrier islands are a way for them to focus more on what's around them. Just an old sweet song. Oh on my mind. Georgia on my mind. She has <laughs> Don't be taking time to shower. Get your butts out here. Put your luggage on the go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There. You got that on tape? I did. Okay. <laughs> this is Sounds pretty like much like coming to Jurassic Park. It is. That's, yeah. what, I, that's yeah. what I've said ever really since I got like, here. Like, I mean, with the, the little cages and the whole bit. And the, the cranes, when they sound off, they sound like velociraptors. <laughs> <laughs> the, first, the first few nights I was here, the cranes were going like crazy. And then all the cicadas would start going out. Like, and you could hear them just start in one area and go in a full circle just right around the compound. It was... Weird. <laughs> <laughs> the preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.